Why is it as soon as I sit down to film, people actually start texting me? Because nobody texts me unless I'm filming. Like, why? Why is this a thing? Please, please enlighten me. But here, blah, 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 blah. psychological, psycho, psychotherapy, psychology. That's what I'm thinking of. Wow. <sighs> Uneducated, I swear. Oh my god, JM, get it together, girlfriend. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay. Today I am here with my most anticipated May releases. I have a total of seven books that I'm super excited for to be released in May. Although we all know I'm not going to get to them in the month of May because I never buy books from the actual bookstore. I always go to the thrift store because your girl is cheap. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> So the first book is Holding Smoke by El Casimono. It's supposed to come out May 3rd. Which is today. And most of the books that I'm talking about come out May 3rd. But this one sounds so freaking cool. It's a psychological thriller. And it's about a boy named John who is wrongfully committed for a crime. And he's thrown in juvenile delinquency. Prison, whatever you want to call it. But since he had a near-death experience, he is actually able to take his soul, like, out of his body and, like, float around and be, like, not in his body. And it just seems so cool. And he meets this girl named Pink, and they have to try and discover who the true killer is for this crime that he was wrongfully committed for. And it just sounds so cool, and I am so excited to get to it. When that is going to happen, who knows, because I don't. But... Sounds freaking awesome. The second book that I am super excited for, which I might actually go and buy because it sounds like right up my alley, and it is The Girl I Used to Be by April Henry. So this is coming out on May 3rd as well, and it is about a girl named Olivia whose mother was killed and her dad was actually the main suspect, although nobody knew where his whereabouts were. Now Olivia just found out that her dad actually died on the same night her mom died, which means that the killer is still out there, and she needs to find him before he finds her. Like, it just sounds so cool, and it sounds right up my alley. And I'm actually contemplating going and buying this one, because, you know, thrillers are my thing lately, and I just, I need it. I need it in my life. The third book that I'm really excited for is Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. This is coming out May 10th, 2016. This book follows Solomon, who's a 16-year-old who has agoraphobia, which means that he is scared to leave his house. He meets this girl named Lisa, who decides that she is going to fix him in order to get accepted into the college of her choice for psychology. And it sounds super interesting. It's like a mental health thing. And we all know I'm obsessed with mental health stuff, and the cover is absolutely gorgeous, so I need it in my life. The next book is If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo, and this comes out May 3rd, 2016. This book follows Amanda Hardy, who is the new girl in town, and obviously she wants to make some friends, but she doesn't want them to get too close because she's hiding a pretty big secret. That is until she meets a boy. This boy's name is Grant, and as she gets closer and closer to him, she must decide whether or not to let her walls down and tell him her big secret, which is that she used to be Andrew. Like, I love these books. These types of books are right up my alley. I recently read Almost Perfect by Brian Catcher, which is also about a transgender teenager, and I really enjoyed it. It is three out of five stars. I'll leave the wrap-up if you guys want to check out my actual thoughts on that one. The next book that I'm excited for is Please Don't Tell by Laura Timms, and this comes out May 24th, 2016. I swear to God, this book sounds so cool. I've said that about every single book, but this is why this is my most anticipated books video, because they all sound so cool. It's about this girl named Joy who kills Adam on the night of a party. At least she thinks that she is the one who killed Adam. She can't exactly remember what happened the night of the party, but she does remember what Adam did to her sister Grace, and she knows that he had to pay for it. So when a mysterious note appears in her bedroom window, she must decide whether or not to do what the blackmailer wants, or have all her secrets revealed. And this just sounds like it would be super suspenseful and super thrilling, which is what I'm into right now. So you know your girl needs to find herself a copy of this. The next book is The Outliers by Kimberly McCray, and this comes out May 3rd as well. I read Reconstructing Amelia by this author and absolutely loved it. This book follows Wiley, who receives a text message from her best friend Casey that simply says, 
please, Wiley, I need your help. Even though Wiley and Casey just had a big fight and Wiley has not heard from Casey in over a week, she decides that she's obviously going to help her. That's when Jasper, Casey's ex-boyfriend, shows up and they don't really like each other very much, but he says that he's here to help her find Cassie. Cassie only sends cryptic text messages about where she is and how to help her. Jasper and Wiley have to work together to solve these messages and try and find their friend. And it just sounds like there's going to be so much drama. And you know your girl is petty and loves her drama, so you know I need a copy of this one too. Sorry, not sorry about it. Seventh and final book that I'm excited about is The Sudden Appearance of Hope. And this comes out May 17th and it's by Claire North. I found this book off of Reagan's channel. It sounds so interesting. The synopsis is so vague. Basically, it's just saying nobody knows who Hope is, but her story is something you can never forget. And it just sounds like it would be so cool, so I need it in my life. Okay, guys, so that was the seven books that I am actually super excited to be released in May. Won't get to them in May because your girl is cheap. We've been through this a million times. But one day, your girl will read these books and you will look back on this video and be like, she was excited for it in May. It's three years later, but at least she's getting to it now. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Lisa. Laura. Her Secrets. It's by not Lisa McMahon. I was going to say Lisa McMahon, but that is wrong. What? English? Huh?